Um, Councilor Smith? Here. Um, Councilor Gear? Here. Councilor Alamon? Uh, he's in the back. Hold on. Um, we'll go ahead to go to Councilor Sims and Councilor Andrew. Here. You gonna wait on him for you? No. Uh, we can go ahead. <laughs> he's here. He's coming. He's getting he his food. Uh, <laughs> Councilor Almont. <laughs> <laughs> All present. See you tomorrow. Um, okay. Uh, could I get a motion to dispense with the reading uh, of the minutes? And oh. Second. All right, motion for Mr. Alamon, second for Ms. Andrus. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All right, that's five to zero. I didn't say aye. Five to zero uh, to approve the minutes. Um, and we'll just go in order. 17-10-15, <clears throat> we uh, request for consideration of noise and odor problems from Buffalo Rock and Mayfield Barbers. Um, they, we've been having some issues. Uh, they changed their carbon last week. Or it may have been two weeks now. I've kind of lost track of time. But um, so I was kind of, relieved that that happened um, and shockingly I haven't heard any complaints since then so um, do they tell us do until they, yeah. do, do they tell us when they do well they sometimes do and they sometimes don't but this time yes he texted me and told me that they were getting ready to do it so um, just warning that there might be some noise because it, it's kind of a loud process when they pull those carbon things out anyway so that got done and they have to have a crane <clears throat> so that got done um, and we'll continue to monitor that um, I'm going to be getting with Ron Thompson who is our consultant and hopefully having him come in at some point here in the near future if I can ever find time to meet with him Madam Chairwoman I, mean, I just wonder if I mean unless we hear something should we table it I mean it's just no no nope. okay Nope. Just, no, just, no. <laughs> I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep this yeah. item on here. Yeah, the really. end of time. <laughs> I just want. I'm and checking. Yeah. Appreciate you. Thank you. Seriously. Yeah. Thank you then for asking. Yes. No. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, Twenty three ten twenty. Request for presentation uh, by Via regarding microtransit systems. I had an email from Mr. Sims this afternoon with some movement on our, our poll. And I will say, when we had our meeting with BJCTA, um, in terms of our budget for them this year, um, and Mayor and Jennifer, y'all can correct me if I'm misstating this, but they have, they're working on a microtransit plan of their own that may or may not <laughs> involve via going forward because they're already working with via anyway am i i'm yeah. saying that correctly that's right, right. That's right. Um, so i'm not sure if that would affect this i'm thinking that it, it probably, probably would does, yeah. um, because <coughs> if they're going to be part and parcel of mm -hmm. bjcta mm -hmm. it may eliminate the need for mm -hmm. the other but either way i think doing the survey is not ever going to be a bad idea um, to get people's <clears throat> feedback and um, I there were, I have some questions and I know the mayor did too about some of the areas that they were going to be eliminating bus service mm -hmm. and substituting in the micro transit um, so we're still kind of working through that with BJCTA but um, that's neither here nor there in terms of the survey so go ahead and tell us about the survey but I did want to say that because that is something that apparently they're now working on with VIA. That's great, thanks. Yes, so, that's right. The, the survey itself, hopefully, if we proceed with it and it comes to the fact that we don't need to do anything with VIA separately um, because BJCTA is gonna, gonna handle that coordination, then at least maybe the survey will help us as far as determining, you know, future budget considerations with B BJCTA and so forth. Um, I actually just, I sent some, a couple of slides for quick reference to Brian. I'm not sure if, if you're able to upload those. There they are. So just to let y'all know, I mean, we've talked about this some, but here's some, some background data on what we're looking at for Homewood on where there's a potentially a demand for transit service. So. RPC pulled a couple of data points, variables. This, this looks at uh, percentage of population under the age of 18 
um, with the red being an area where <coughs> there is, um, let's see, I, I can't give you the percentages, honestly. I'm, I guess it's a little too far away for me <laughs> even at this point. Um, but, but basically, there's a couple of variable data points will help us drill down where, where the highest demand for service is, and the survey will also determine that. But what I want to show you on these slides is when we do the survey, we talked about doing a paper-based version. So in addition to the public areas, the last slide is going to show where we need to kind of focus some of our outreach to make sure that a considerable number of residents do complete the paper-based or online version to make sure that we're getting input from the residents who, who are most likely to use the service. So the first slide is uh, residents under 18 years of age. The second slide um, is 65 and older. The, in, in, in the next slide actually shows um, percentage of poverty in Homewood. So you can just kind of tell where there's um, a couple of areas in red and orange where there's a higher percentage of poverty compared to the rest of the city. And then the next slide shows where there's actually a lower rate of automobile ownership um, in areas of the city. So again, you can begin to take those variables and determine a composite score where it's most likely that residents would use microtransit or public transit. And the next slide kind of shows those highlighted areas in red and orange and, and as kind of a above average you know, slightly above average in, a, in an average tier. And then the, the blue areas are kind of the cooler areas where um, not cooler from the standpoint of, um, you know, being, you know, hip or anything, but from the standpoint of not being a, a transit hotspot. So sorry for the poor language, just want to clarify there. Um, but that kind of gives us an idea in those orange and red areas and, and yellow to focus our outreach for uh, making sure that the, the survey is completed by an ample number of residents there. So finally, um, the next slide, just want to let you all know the survey questions are complete. There's an online version. Um, we can push that out via Everbridge, which I think is the name of our text messaging system social media and other online and electro electronic communications. We can also do the paper-based ba ba version at City Hall, Lee Center, Homewood Rec Center, Senior Center, and the library. Those are just some of the ideas we've talked about so far. Um, so that being said, just basically wanted to go through that. We haven't actually launched anything yet, but just wanted to go ahead and take that next step now if everybody's um, willing to do so, and now's a good time. There was one trick about the paper-based version of the survey where it wasn't easily downloadable from the online, so we had to recreate that. And now that's done. That's something I shared a PDF of via the email this afternoon. So that's kind of the update. And if everybody's ready to go forward, we can start pushing that out electronically. Yeah, and um, Nick, I don't. You, you're gonna have to help me because my map skills are not the best. But was that the red areas and the orange areas? Was that, what? tell me what areas those were. Was that, was one of them Valley Avenue? Was that kind of where that one area of orange was? The, there was one area um, in the northwestern part of the city, which is, uh, you know, north and south of Valley Avenue. Yeah. Uh, there's another area that is south of Lakeshore. There's another area um, that's, you know, near and around Rosedale. Yeah. Um, those. Those were some of the areas. Uh, yes, there it is again. Right, Thanks, yeah, Brian. Yeah. Um, so, and also the you know the Brookwood area. Mm -hmm. So, okay. that kind of shows you what where those focus areas are. Um, that lines up with the, what we talked about with BJCTA, the, yeah. I mean, Brookwood and yeah. Valley and, and, and the hospital. And very similar to what we talked about when we were talking about the census mm -hmm. too. Um, I'm, I'm wondering if specifically in the Rosedale area, I wonder if it would be helpful to have those paper surveys available at Lee Center or Lee's some. on the list. It is on the list. Okay, good. Good, good, good. And it, uh, we're about to start that survey. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people will be, or a few people will be out and on the street related to the historic uh, surveys, the historic yeah. preservation survey. So it's potential that we could uh, piggyback. Uh, there's a, there's a, a young woman uh, from West Homewood who wants to help with 
uh, Rosedale revitalization efforts this summer, she might be willing to help do some door-to-door -door things. So whenever you get it ready, touch base. And That'd be awesome. Yeah. All right, that's great. I will also say that um, Frank Martin is going to be our presenter at the council roundtable on Friday. So we have got, we're up to 15 municipalities now. And so he'll be presenting um, based on our meeting the other day. Yeah. So. And I will say we were, we were shocked to have him yes. announce at our meeting that he is yes. leaving. <laughs> he is retiring. Yes, so we, were, we were all a little, a little sad by sad, that. Sad, yeah, yeah. definitely. Um, he has been really, he has done a lot yeah. in his time with BJCTA. Um, so yeah, I think all those ideas are great. And yes, Nick, I think we're ready to, let's, let's get it done. Because even like we said, even if, you know, it turns out that BJCTA sort of takes care of that microtransit, I think having the information and the data so that we can share that with them is going to be nothing but helpful. So, yeah. Great, thanks. Well, I'll work with Melody to get it out via text message and Brian to get it out on the city's social media and then individually as counselors, if you will help share in your respective wards as yeah. well for the online link, that would be fantastic. And then if you have a need specifically, you want to do outreach in your ward with a paper-based version, just let me know. We'll try to coordinate with Melody as well. She said she can print some, and I'm sure we can you know, come up with a way to, to make that happen. Thanks. All right, awesome. Okay. Um, so I'm wondering, should, do we need to keep this on the agenda? Do we need to just table it for now until we get results of the survey? What do we think about that item? Because we're not really hearing the presentation anymore. Table it? Yeah, I think that's probably the right way to go because we want to keep it around just so that we can get results from the survey when they're available. But can I get a motion to table that one? And we'll just bring it back up when it's time. I make a motion to table. Okay. Second. All right. Motion from Mr. Sims. Second from Ms. Anders. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All right. That one will go to the table and we will bring that back up. There's no need legally for us to Approving that it's going to happen. Thank you. Okay. Um, 120421, request for consideration to permit the use of City Hall Plaza on a recurring basis for tournaments by Cornhole BHM, a social Cornhole League, John P.S. Frontoni, uh, Cornhole BM, BHAM, and Wyatt Pugh. And Mr. Pugh, um, after we, I, he talked to Mr. Piantroni, P.S. Frontoni, sorry. And um, he was not quite ready, is that right? That's correct. He apologized. He said he had an emergent meeting he could not get out of tonight, so he w would ask that you carry it over. Okay. Um, and and he, he said carry it over a week, and I'm like, well, that's not how this works. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, and are we going to meet on July 5th? No. Okay, I didn't think so. Um, yeah, that's what I figured. So this will be July 12th. Yeah, so this will be July 12th. Okay. Um, but I believe he wasn't planning on starting this until the fall. So that's correct. I think there's some time. Planned. Okay. All right. So in uh, in that case, that is carried over until our July 12th meeting, and we are adjourned. <laughs>